This is what Meghan Markle's first wedding looked like, as far from a royal event as you can imagine. Meghan Markle and her ex-husband dated longer than she's been with Prince Harry. So what went wrong in her past relationship? This is the biggest reason why Meghan Markle divorced her first husband. And there's some pretty surprising details that comes out of the story. Before Meghan Markle became a member of the British royal family by marrying Prince Harry, she was married to Hollywood producer Trevor Engelson. They got married back in 2011 when Meghan was gaining fame for her role in the TV show Suits. Meghan Markle and Trevor Engelson tied the knot with a casual beachfront wedding in Ocho Rios, Jamaica in September 2011. However, unfortunately, their marriage didn't last that long at all and they divorced in 2013, citing irreconcilable differences. Meghan Markle and Trevor Engelson's marriage was fairly short-lived. Now, about a decade later, Meghan and Trevor have taken completely different paths in life. Meghan married Prince Harry and became a royal, while Trevor married Tracy Kurland, who comes from a very wealthy family. Trevor has also been building his own wealth. So in that sense, it was kind of similar. Both of them did marry wealthy spouses. Meghan and Harry, they left their royal duties though, and they moved to the United States. And during this time, they have been in the spotlight for various reasons, including their Netflix documentary and their Spotify deal, as well as Harry's book titled Spare, as well as all the drama and stuff surrounding the royal family that they've caused. Look, I was really, a shame to say it at the time. But before Meghan was a royal and a media sensation, her love life wasn't in the constant spotlight at all. She had a relatively peaceful marriage with Hollywood producer Trevor Engelson, and their marriage began after six years of dating. The two began dating in 2004 and were a couple for almost seven years before announcing their engagement in 2011. But it couldn't withstand Meghan's growing fame from her role in the TV show Suits. And then trouble started not long after their wedding. Maintaining a long distance relationship is pretty difficult because Trevor lived in Los Angeles in the US while Megan was working in Toronto, Canada and that's a five hour flight away. And this created a whole lot of strain on their relationship. Due to the new television role, Markle was required to move to Toronto to start filming, while Engelson remained in California for his own work. But Trevor was really shocked he was surprised when he found out that Meghan Markle filed for divorce just two years after they got married. Long distance relationships definitely are known to be challenging and Meghan started growing apart from Trevor when she was in Canada, but he was really hopeful that it would work. So this is why it was such a big shock that she filed for divorce. It's reported that when she had told Trevor that she wanted a divorce after a couple years of marriage, he was completely heartbroken and he had called Meghan Markle's father and he told him that you know he was just feeling lost and he didn't really understand what actually went wrong. So what if it was long distance? You know, we could work it out, right? It was just a complete shock to him and he was totally blindsided. And then just three years after their divorce, Meghan Markle started dating Prince Harry, which was very devastating for Trevor. However, after almost a decade, Trevor has moved on from his divorce with Meghan. Although it still left a pretty sore spot inside of him and all of his friends know to not talk about Meghan, like don't even bring her up. Also, Trevor is doing really well for himself though, like he's found great financial success. He's estimated to be worth around $10 million, mostly from his highly successful production company, Underground Films. He would go on to start his own production company called Underground in 2001. And Trevor, like I mentioned, married Tracy Kurland, and she's the daughter of Penny Mac Mortgage Investment Trust CEO, Stanford Kurland. And Tracy inherited a substantial part of her father's $500 million fortune when he passed away back in 2021. And this means that Trevor and Tracy now have a combined net worth of around $300 million. And apart from this marriage into wealth, Trevor has been creative in increasing his net worth. Like his primary source of income is his production company, Underground Films, and he founded that back in 2001. 
And the company has produced several popular movies, including License to Wed, Remember Me, as well as All About Steve. And Trevor Engelson has found a lot of happiness in his marriage with Tracy, and they now have two children together. They're even more wealthy than Meghan and Harry when you look at their total combined net worth. So despite the challenges that he faced from divorcing Meghan Markle and the pain that it caused him, it's great to see that he's been able to live such a fulfilling and happy life. It was like, I guess, a blessing in disguise that she wanted to divorce him. As for Meghan though, she seems happy with Prince Harry, although there have been rumors of marriage trouble that have risen between her and Harry. As well as Meghan is also working non-stop to get out of the flop era funk that she's been in ever since publicly blasting the royal family. And that's where I'll end this one, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me here on another video. As always, I'm curious to know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments section. Until next time, stay awesome. I'll see you soon. Boom.